you know, at Cone, we feel like a family. Uh, we know each other well. We take care of each other. And I'll just speak personally for myself. I don't, I, it would be heartbreaking for me to see us lose one of our team members to a COVID death. And as we began to look at these numbers, we said we have to get serious about protecting our staff. Uh, we don't want to lose a staff member, and then we don't want to give this infection to anyone who comes to us for care. We've been requiring vaccinations for a long time. We require vaccinations for the flu. We require vaccinations for measles, mumps, hepatitis. So this is not a new position. It's just a new vaccine. And so, of course, we would want to have conversations with those employees to understand what's different about this vaccine, that they're hesitant to take it and try to help them understand why we need to move ahead. If there are religious reasons, we have a religious exemption for other vaccines. If there's a legitimate medical reason, we would certainly talk to them about that. But if they don't meet those categories, just like with our other vaccines, then they won't be able to work here. We don't anticipate that we'll have many of those because we don't with our other vaccines. So um, we we'll, are ready to have the conversations and help our employees make a move to get vaccinated. So I just for clarification, so if, if it wasn't religious and the person, the employee still didn't want to get it, would they ultimately be fired if they, if they refused? They, they ultimately won't have a job here if they don't get vaccinated and it's not for medical or religious uh, reasons. And we don't want to take that step. We want to help them come to a, a decision to get vaccinated.